Hey there, welcome to Bring Up Berries. Today we are going to prepare a very quick and easy recipe that I'm sure you're gonna love. Five seeds gluten-free crackers. You will not believe how delicious these crackers are. They are super crunchy and packed with all kinds of healthy ingredients. The best thing is that they don't contain gluten, sugar or oils. They are so versatile and you can use them in so many different ways. Some of my favorite are with nut butters, with hummus or with guacamole, like the one I posted a couple of days ago in the channel. Another way to use them that I really like is to crack them and sprinkle them over your favorite salads to give them a crunchier touch. Seeds are great sources of fiber. They also contain healthy fats and many important vitamins, minerals and antioxidants. When consumed as part of a healthy diet, seeds can help reduce blood sugar, cholesterol and blood pressure. These crackers are crispy, filling and perfect to eat with hummus, like the one I will be posting soon on the channel. I also like to add them to salads for a crunchier touch, as a mid-morning or mid-afternoon snack or dipped in peanut butter for a protein-rich post-workout treat. I posted a couple of days ago my favorite guacamole recipe and combined with these crackers they are an amazing light dinner, starter or snack. To make them, all you will need are a few ingredients. Half a cup of chia seeds, one third of a cup of sesame seeds, one third of a cup of pumpkin seeds, half a cup of flax seeds, one third of a cup of poppy seeds, one teaspoon of oregano, half a teaspoon of salt, I am using Himalayan, and one and a fourth cup of lukewarm water. Add all your seeds to a large mixing bowl. You can use other seeds of your choice, but the ones that you need to keep are chia and flax seeds, because these are the cracker binders. I love using oregano on mine, but feel free to use other herbs or spices like onion or garlic powder, nutritional yeast for a cheesy flavor, or whatever you want. Once you have all the ingredients in your bowl, Add water and stir well until everything is very well combined and all the seeds are coated. Set aside and allow to thicken for about 15 minutes. In the meantime, cover a baking sheet with parchment paper. After 15 minutes, you can check your mixture. It will thicken and become gooey-like in consistency and will look like mine. Once you have achieved this texture, you can transfer it over to the baking sheet. Spread it into a thin layer. Be careful not to make it too thin, otherwise it can break, but keep in mind that the thinner, the crispier your crackers will be. I think the perfect size is about 5 mm. Press well the mixture with your spatula or hands and make sure you distribute it evenly all over your tray. Bake in the oven for about 50 minutes at 150 Celsius or 300 Fahrenheit. Check the crackers after 40 minutes because they can burn very easily. Once they are as golden as you like, you can take them out of the oven and allow them to cool completely before cutting them. After 20 minutes, mine are ready to be cut. You can use a knife or pizza cutter, or you can just break them apart with your hands for a rustic look. Now your crackers are ready to be enjoyed. 
I love using these crackers with homemade hummus, with cashew spread or with guacamole. I posted a few days ago my Mexican's friend guacamole recipe and honestly this is my favorite combination. If you don't feel like cooking, having these crackers handy will make your life so easy because if you combine them with something as guacamole or hummus, you get a nutritious and light meal in less than 10 minutes. By the way, you can store these crackers in an airtight container for up to two weeks at room temperature. I hope you have really enjoyed this video and this recipe and don't forget that if you want to, you can always leave me your comments down below. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the healthy recipes I'm gonna be posting every week. See you soon.